Which one is this? Spice and sugar or something? Probably the best one I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes! We also got raspberry, rosemary, chocolate almond ganache, and passion fruit with cocoa nibs, so I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is so good. Okay, so Andrew and I are splitting this one. He just ate it and his face was like really emotive. Um, and we actually tried passion fruit for like one of the first times when we were in Dominican Republic. So anyway, he wants to film my reaction to this. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> Definitely a lot of flavor. It's so good though. Then we popped into Case Study Coffee Roasters, which I was reading had really good coffee, and it's really good, but it has a very intense flavor. If you're from New York, I can compare it mostly to Stumptown Coffee. It almost has like a slight licorice aftertaste is the best way to describe it, um, but I do enjoy the cold brew, so we had that and just a little bagel on the way um, to load up for going to Cannon Beach, which is where we're driving now, and according to our map, we have about 70 miles until we get there, so I will definitely try to do a little time lapse so you can see what it's like to drive through the beautiful state of Oregon like literally everything is so gorgeous here and we have the best weather ever we just super lucked out with the weather it's been like 70 with no humidity and sunny since we got here so I'm really happy about that also if you're new here be sure to subscribe and stick around I'll also link some of my other city guides and travel videos down below I have one for New Orleans and Charleston and Savannah and a couple of others so if that interests you you can binge the videos after you finish this one <laughs> So 
So we just arrived at Cannon Beach, which as I'm sure you saw was probably the most scenic and beautiful drive I've ever been on in my life. Um, parking here was a little bit of a challenge, so definitely try to look ahead and see if you can figure out where you're gonna park when you get here. But I can see the Pacific Ocean and I'll turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. come to Cannon Beach you also have to drive up to Ecola State Park and you can pay five dollars to come to Indian Beach and also the viewpoint which has a view of this to our Airbnb after we got back from Cannon Beach and we regrouped a little bit and now we are walking through um, Portland State University campus that's kind of close to where our Airbnb is. We're gonna walk all the way over to the river and then we're gonna go to Dan and Lewis. It's like an oyster bar and restaurant. Gonna pop in there probably for dinner and then we might check out another brewery or something. Very excited and the weather is still so nice right now. Keep on smiling in my tiny bubble like a movie without ending Spending time like it was going backwards This is covering my walls but they fall down Diving deeper than the books that we read blind dinner and it was definitely really good. Oysters were expensive, $3 each, so we ended up doing calamari and the oyster po' boys, which were great, but now we've hit a wall. <laughs> so we're not gonna do anything else, we're gonna go home, but I'll pick you guys back up again in the morning. Okay, so it's our last morning in Portland. Weather is still 10 out of 10, and we just chilled out last night, which I don't regret at all because we were exhausted. We are definitely feeling more prepared to tackle the day ahead, which also involves driving to Seattle. Um, that'll be in a separate video but we're heading to breakfast now at a place called Mother's which my friend Flora recommended for brunch so it's Wednesday we'll see how much of a brunch versus breakfast situation it is but either way I'm excited it looks a lot like southern kind of comfort food so that's always a good sign meditation through the yoga lessons going green by the minute soon I can't wear any other colors this is covering 